Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel where I complain about stuff and or praise the things I've already bought. We are not affiliated with anyone, no one sends me free stuff as of yet, I'll be honest when it happens. Recently I did a review on the new Fox 599 Evo, which just looks super awesome. Lack of billboarding on the blade, we all hated those stupid, that lettering that the old Fox knives had. Awesome Emerson style wave opener that works better than any I've ever tried. Fits my hand like a glove. Somebody complained on the last video saying I held it wrong and you should hold it like this. I don't hold a weapon like that for one of two reasons. One, if you fall and you hit wrong, you're breaking this finger and that's an awful finger to break in a scrap. Uh, I would much rather break a pinky, also easier to slip out. Uh, the other thing too is this is the muscle memory of using your firearm and also throwing a punch. So don't sharpshoot me when it comes to this stuff, guys. I'm, I'm not here for a debate. Uh, I do appreciate the comments for the algorithm, but the fatal flaw in this guy is this stupid, dumb, almost instantly universally hated locking mechanism to make up for that thin locking bar everybody complained about. Uh, looks like it's an early lockup, about 30%. But here's the thing, if this thing's forward and you see how easy it is to engage, I can't move that locking bar, so I gotta push this down first, make sure it's all the way down, and so what this has effectively done is it's turned a one-handed weapon into a two-handed operation and slowed, slowed it way down. Um, centering's okay on this one. Fox has quality control issues. I've had five 599s. Three of them have been poor centering and have been sent back. I did get this one from karambit.com. Uh, good customer service. Shout out to Leon. Nice guy. So yes, do business with them. But if you're going to buy a Fox, buy the old style so you don't get this. And again, people say, hold it like this. Okay, fair enough. If I'm holding like this, that lock bar digs into a sensitive spot on my hand, for one. And two, I can't disengage it. I can't do anything with it. So no. And also, when you hold it in the reverse grip, guys, you take about six to eight inches away from your reach. In a knife fight, God forbid you ever get in one, you're going to want that reach. So enough about this guy. Let's talk about a better option. Get off camera. The Spyderco Matriarch 2. And the reason uh, I only have two minutes left to talk about this is there's not much to talk about. Same grip as the Endura 4. Okay, so you can get aftermarket handle scales for that. You have the Emerson Wave Opener. You do not have a flipper, but the flipper is damn near useless on this thing unless you flick your wrist anyway. So I don't really... Oh, look, see? I have to shut that dumb locking bar. God, I hate that. It would be the dream... Uh, self-defense EDC if it wasn't for that. Now this guy, the only thing you can say about it is the blade's a little long. And look at that serration. So aggressive, that S-shaped blade. Ruh. Uh, also as a um, rescue tool. This would be great for cutting through a seat belt, should you need. Super lightweight. I did put a ring on it. Uh, don't ask me where I got the ring from. I can't remember. But there's the logo. I'd say a Google search. O-ring for Matriarch 2, Spyderco Matriarch 2. You'll find it. Original clip, holding fast. Now when I pull this out, I'm in this grip. Look at all the extra reach I have. And with this locking bar, no problem. And I did complain about the, the two-finger thing. I just kind of go like that. And this is about the same weight. So your laws depending. you got to look those up. Super flat. Is it centered? I don't know. Just a little off, but I mean, it's not that kind of thing. And I know I was a little harsh on the Fox for that, but that's because this that the Fox is a showpiece. This is a user. But if you're looking for a self-defense EDC, your laws permitting, as long as you can carry this thing, <laughs> this is far superior. I even like the serrations, and I don't have serrations on anything. These scallop serrations are super cool. I think this is a VG10 steel, but with this blade shape and geometry, it really doesn't matter the kind of steel. Um, you can see it's kind of dirty. I've been carrying this for a couple of years now. I love this guy. And if you're going to talk about, you know, talk to me about reverse grip or anything, I mean, give me that reach back. There's your six inches of reach back that you lose with the reverse grip. This is just next level scary. I mean, even more so if you ask me than this guy. I mean, they're both cool. But man, I mean, you don't have to sharpen this thing, you know, you don't have to sharpen serrations that often. But if I had a choice between these two, I would always go with this. This guy's running about 160 now. 
something like that from Karambit.com. Buy it if you like it. I don't want to take business away from people I like. It's just Fox I'm pissed at for this poor design and also bad quality control. Spyderco, on the other hand, we all know Spyderco's quality control is good, solid. We have a, um, a factory right near me. I would say their customer service kind of sucks. I've been to their factory and their showroom and their people are a little snooty at times, but who cares? I really like their stuff. I continue to buy it, just not as, uh, I'm just not as excited as I used to be. That's all. So anyway, the Spyderco Matriarch 2 is a total buy.